With the Walking Dead. Oh yeah, Walking Dead. I'd be fine with Walking Dead though. Would you? I could survive that. Yes. Why? Because they're slow. They don't run. <laughs> And they can't be strong after like a year or two. They're not strong. They they have no muscle mass. <laughs> so you think if, if it was real oh, yeah. life oh, yeah. that they muscle mass would deplete and they wouldn't be able to walk and you'd be fine? Exactly. Perfectly. You okay, but in the show, they're walking. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. In the mm-hmm. show, they're walking though after years. After years mm-hmm. of apocalypse. No, so my point is it oh. could happen. Well, what do you mean? <laughs> what if they're still walking after years? Well, I'm saying I'm not afraid to, to fight them. Oh, okay. So you're okay. One with comes them. in a room and, uh, you know, I'm like, get out of here. <laughs> Just take something, <laughs> hit it in his head because his head would be soft. Take a spoon. And just whack There's hordes head. of people, though. That's fine. I, look. I know. You wear, this is what you do. <laughs> you wear a leather outfit. <laughs> you wear leather? All leather. All over your body. That's what you do. Because then you can't get bitten. They can't bite through leather. You look like an S and M person. That's what you gotta do. You gotta wear the suit. Yeah, like the zipper, like uh, lip whatever thing. you gotta do. <laughs> and a zipper, because you don't even talk anyway. Yeah. So you just zip, zip it up, <laughs> leather everywhere, and you, and then you don't even need all oh, you, you then. You would look kind of sexy. Though. <laughs> yeah. You would. It'd be hot. It'd be hot. So that would be a problem. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, you might faint a couple times. <laughs> You'll get used to it. But at least you won't get eaten. <laughs> You'll get used to it. Exactly. You know, you always see people like in zombie apocalypse wearing shorts. Uh huh. And short sleeve shirts. It's like, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. That just makes it easy. I know. But you get a zombie that's like, has been been dead for like three years. Uh huh. Hobbling, barely skinny, completely depleted. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have any bone, you know, muscle in its jaws to uh. to really bite through, you know, skin. So if you got leather, you're good. Uh. You're good. Yeah. You don't have no problem. Shout out to the KJ fam. You're back once again, rocking with Kristen and Jamil, and you are here for another mukbang, and not just any mukbang. Today, once again, we have the Costco pepperoni pizza mukbang, you guys. We are super. I was about super... to say woohoo, but I won't. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, do whatever. That'll go whatever. For it. That's like our signature sound, you know? <laughs> so we're super, super excited, you guys. Oh, uh, we yeah. can't wait. As you can see, I mean, this pizza looks phenomenal. It does. And. We literally haven't eaten anything all day, and it's been a it's, long day. It is 4.51 p.m. <laughs> yeah, 4.51 p.m., exactly. Uh, I'm about to pass out. Exactly. Um, so we got hot dogs, too. Exactly, that's Cause, right. Because the pizza was not enough. It wasn't. <laughs> and we have dessert, yeah, which we'll that's grab right. later. That's right. Um, yeah. And we're so excited, so. And the dessert, um, we got it before. Uh, by the way, am I handing you anything else? Um, oh, ranches. Oh, yeah, please. The dessert please. that... Um, Thank you. Yeah, no problem. We had before. Well, we had, we had last time. Uh, we did Costco, but we didn't bring it home. But this time we made it. It's melted, but we made it. Yeah. It was pretty much. Uh, it's it's strawberry. Yeah. Strawberry. Strawberry ice cream. It's ice cream with strawberries. I yeah. Think it's called like a berry. But is it is it? It's not frozen yogurt, huh? Oh, it is. It is frozen yogurt, right? I it's think like it strawberry is frozen, frozen yogurt. yogurt. And yeah. it's, I mean, it's phenomenal. Well, it's like vanilla frozen yogurt with strawberries. Exactly. So good. Exactly. It's called so. a berry berry sundae. Oh, okay. Is. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, thumbnail? Thumbnail. Okay. Oh, there's something I'm going to hold a slice of pizza. That's what I was going to do. Oh, you're going to copy me? Yes. All right, let's co- Listen, copy I feel me. like you copied me. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm going to hold fun. it for the camera. Okay. Uh, you ready? Yeah. Can One. I it? Yeah, that's okay. fine. One. Two. Two. Three. three. I'm going to take a bite of mine. One, or look like it. Okay. One, One, two, two three. three. I think that's better. Mm. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Costco's the best. I'm literally not kidding. It's the best. Oh my god. And that was before ranch. Oh my god. That was before we did ranch. Which I'm not even way? kidding. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, I got Burger King ranch. <laughs> and we got Pizza yeah. Hut ranch. Oh we got god. a Domino's ranch over there. Mm. We don't have our own ranch. <laughs> yeah, we did. We did. But yeah. when our power went out with the fires, yeah, and we had to throw away everything in our fridge, yeah, we lost all of our condiments, so we haven't exactly repurchased them yet. Which oh, this is so good. By the way, guys, I should mm-hmm. say this: 
Uh, PG and E might cut our power off again, again this Bye. week. No joke. Again. Tell them or I tell them or I won't. Mm. Yeah. It's like literally crazy. Mm-hmm. I'll tell them. Okay. Because you have to explain why. Like, yeah. Well. Because people might think this is like insane, which it is insane. Pretty much. We have really heavy winds going right now. Kind and, of. Yeah. Huh? Kind of. Well, we. I mean, they for for fall. I think it's. I mean. No. Yeah. It's abnormal. Mm-hmm. We're going to really have normal winds, but mm-hmm. like right now, it's hot. It's warm. It's like summer outside. <laughs> oh. It's 80 degrees. 80 is, degrees. Which is weird. <laughs> Should we say the date? I mean, November. Yeah. We're it's in... pretty much November, mid-November. Mid to late November. Uh-huh. 80 degrees, you guys. Okay, we're mm. totally bragging because I know like <laughs> the Midwest, they're like freezing. But I'm, we don't want snow. I, I, don't, I want to make sure I say that. But we do want cold. Rain. We want some, We need rain. We need rain out We here. need rain. So that's a big thing. So we haven't, it has not rained oh. in mm. months. Well. A good rain. When was the last good rain we it had? It rained two days ago. But, yeah. well sorry, it drizzled. Drizzled. Two days ago. <laughs> For a minute. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't really count. It doesn't. But um, we haven't had a good rain in months. Yeah, in months, I would say, God, when was the last good rain? April? Probably. May? It's Probably. literally been crazy. You guys, it's 80 degrees mm-hmm. in late November. It's crazy. So. It's never that hot. Yeah, so another thing we've been getting are these heavy winds. And we do get winds that are pretty bad, but mm-hmm. these seem to be really heavy. Now, it's not that crazy. Right. The winds aren't that crazy. It's just that PG and E, and you guys probably, I don't know, maybe it's like this all across the United States. Mm-hmm. But out here, all the power lines are above ground when they should be actually below ground. Mm-hmm. They they actually have the ability to put everything below ground. Apparently, I was talking to someone who was talking to, who was saying that they came out here to California, and, and they're from England, and they were like, "Did I tell you about this?" No. And they were like. Why do you guys have power lines above? Like, that's that's only in our, you know, pretty much our, like, slums, our ghettos, pretty no. much out here. Yeah. They were like, all the power lines in England are below ground. And we have them above ground. Wow. <laughs> it's like the early 1900s out here. It's like a super old technology. That's insane. Mm-hmm. So, if I can kind of take over. So, what's happened Please is do. it hasn't rained in forever. We're getting winds, and our so PG&E, which is our electric and gas company, mm-hmm. out here in California, um, is super old uh, generate or not generator transformers mm-hmm. and power lines. So you have wind, you have dry stuff going on, you know, dry climate. Yep. And then you have stuff that's not that's that's blowing up the transformers. They're yeah. not working. Yeah. It's causing fires, wildfires. That's why we have crazy yeah. ass wildfires here in California. So exactly, our PG and E, our our gas and electric company, has decided to just shut off power to like major areas. That's their <laughs> that's their solution yeah. when it's windy and it's dry. Exactly, you're just gonna you're gonna knock it out power. <laughs> that's their solution. They're just gonna shut it off because they've been sued so many times. You know. Yeah, they <laughs> lost like a multi billion dollar lawsuit. Oh, did they really? For the um. Well, the so, fires. Yeah, but, yeah. So for the fires two years ago here in Sonoma County, all the claims people have made against PG&E, they've lost. So I think they've lost like multi-billion dollars from that. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they don't want to get sued again. So maybe they can't afford to put anything on the ground. I don't know. (laughs) Well, they could have like if they were preemptive about it. This is the hot dog, you guys. Mm. Mm, I'm so excited. Oh, well done. Oh, you were eating it already? Mm -hmm. No, you're not? Mm -hmm. Okay. About to. It looks good? Mm-hmm. So we oh, are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. Mm. So. So that's why. Well, yeah, so just so you know, power my bay off again. I don't know. We're playing by ear. It's crazy. And it's crazy because they turn the power off. Now, we're in an area that isn't like that wealthy, you know? It's, it's you know, obviously it's. We're in a, what do you mean? Oh, the county? Yeah. The county's ca- wealthy. Well, the county is, but I'm talking about specifically where we are in the city. In this city, is not that well. You have to define wealth because it's wealthy for. It's wealthy for the United States. It's yeah. Wealthy. Okay. Yeah. But, but in comparison to the whole Bay Area, yeah, it's probably one of the least wealthiest places. One of them, which is still extremely wealthy. 
Anyway, so point doesn't matter. Here's my point. Okay, yeah. <laughs> the point is the wealthiest city in the Bay, the Bay Area, and mm-hmm. I think one of the wealthiest cities in the United States mm-hmm. is Marin County, mm-hmm. and they're trying to power off in Marin County, mm-hmm. so they're gonna they're really. They're really risking a lot. They're mad. <laughs> They're mad. Marin yeah. County residents are pissed. And so this is like no joke. I mean, mm-hmm. they wouldn't do that unless it's a real. It's a real problem. And they really are scared. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. And even here, I mean, you know, I think there's a lot of entitlement in Marin County. Mm-hmm. I lived there for many years, so no offense to Marin County people, but it's true. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yeah. And there's a lot of entitlement here in Sonoma County too. So mm-hmm. what do you do? Through that, I was no. making sure you had ranch. Oh, I do. Thank you. The problem. So, anyways, it's just like yeah. I've lived in California for thirty mm-hmm. two years, and yeah. they've never done this. Never. They did rolling blackouts once, but when we were young, I don't know what that was for. But it's it, wasn't, different. it wasn't for this. Yeah, it was different. I mean, we I was in the dark for four days one time mm-hmm. because they somebody hit a transformer, and apparently where they hit it, it was really hard for them to fix it, I mm-hmm. guess, into yeah. like four days. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, but, um, so also I have to say, mm-hmm. so yeah, can you, like the power is going on here, most likely again, it's like the apocalypse, you guys, when that happens. <laughs> people sure. are like running into people with their cars. Yeah. They're like fighting to fill up gas tanks. They're, They're running getting, out of gas everywhere. They run out of gas. They get all the water in the grocery stores. Yeah. It's like crazy. <laughs> It really is. It's crazy. Which, by the way, we have water. Like, yeah. even if the power goes out, you have a water supply. And a heater, too. Water heater. which is And a water you know. heater. Yeah. Because that's gas. Because it's gas. Yeah, exactly. you have your gas. Uh-huh. But people are acting like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. They get all the water. It's crazy. Mm. Oh. It's actually pretty insane. I didn't tell you this. So, mm-hmm. Costco sells emergency supply kits. Oh, yeah. For apocalypse. Stuff like this, yeah. And there's like something that you can buy that's mm-hmm. a whole year, I think, or one or two years worth of food and water. Different foods, different waters <clears throat> for, um, yeah, for $5,000. Wow. Mm-hmm. Something like that. Maybe seven. That's pretty good. It is good. Uh, Actually, good. yeah, it is good. Uh-huh. Wow. Um, and it could feed, I don't know, it feeds a lot. So if you want your emergency supply kit, you want to be, you know, prepared. Just spend a cool five thousand. But you know what? I feel like if an apocalypse happens, I'm totally kidding. By the way, that's super expensive. I, we can't oh yeah, that. we're not doing that. No, we're <laughs> I, totally kidding. I know. <laughs> Nobody sends a cool five thousand unless no. you have it like that. We'll be the ones knocking on the person's door who has the five thousand dollars <laughs> yeah. worth of food. <laughs> but what I was gonna say is, I feel like mm-hmm. if I had five thousand mm-hmm. dollars. And I was prepping for the apocalypse. I'm not gonna please. Yeah, uh-huh. okay. I feel like I could, pre- I could take five thousand dollars and do a year and a half worth of food. <laughs> I don't know. If sounds crazy. Uh huh. You think so? Well, yeah. They got twenty five cent waters, right? I mean, I feel like mm-hmm. if you do, everyone does a water a day. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's that's only three hundred sixty five mm-hmm. days. You know what I mean? Or maybe two waters a day. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then not to mention canned food. You can get canned food real cheap. You can get some SpaghettiOs for cheap. Do I just got a call? Totally. You got a call? Sorry, that's why my head's sideways. <laughs> I got a text. You're so funny. <laughs> <coughs> that's true. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the Costco thing is cool because they have like <coughs> grains and granolas and, mm. <coughs> and canned food good. and cereal and beans. You're eating, eating really good. <laughs> uh-huh. And then they have um, waters and some of the food lasts up to five years. So it's, wow. you know, in terms of like the storage, you know. Mm-hmm. Anyways, it's cool. It's pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm bad. And then they have a cheaper version too. Not just a $5,000 kit. I think mm-hmm. they have one that's like mm-hmm. 1000 or something. Got it. So. Got it. <coughs> All right, Excuse what do you me. do? Apocalypse happens. Right off the bat, let's say an uh, asteroid hits the planet. Okay. Apocalypse happens. What do you do? What's the first thing you do? We, first thing we do. Yes. Right now. It hits. We're eating. What do we do? Grab all of our supplies that we have here. All of yep. our canned food. Yep. Our water. Mm-hmm. 
go over to our friend's house. <laughs> yeah. It was hella guns. So that's that's going to be needed. <laughs> <laughs> right? That probably That's the first needed. thing. And they'll let us in because we are BFFs with them. Mm-hmm. And um, that way we have, uh, we have, which we'll call it, we have defense. Protection. And we're bringing in food. True that. Then I don't know about that, though, after that. Yeah. What do you do? I don't, I don't know. know. All phone lines are down. Let's see how phone lines are That'd down. That would be awful. That would suck. I was scared to think about. We mm-hmm. should think about it, though. Well, you know, I think it is nice to be semi-prepared. Mm-hmm. But I think at the end of the day, you could really waste some time, a lot of your life, worrying about it. Wait a minute. Remember the doomsday, doomsday prepper people? Yeah. Nothing ever happened. I mean, <laughs> something happened down the road. Mm-hmm. And maybe they're like, hey, I told you. But. <laughs> yeah, because that show was on like 10 years ago. That was big. Like when it, yeah. When 2012 was about to happen. And they were like, I know for a fact <laughs> that in the next three years, we're going to have a major Meltdown. apocalypse situation. Like they said that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They haven't mm-hmm. had to use it yet. Mm-hmm. But again, you don't need it till you need it. True. And as soon as that, ha- if, it ha- if it happens, they're going to be like, mm-hmm. but see, I told you so. I feel like then it goes from like, Thinking the apocalypse is gonna happen, mm-hmm. and after a while, not happening, mm-hmm. to you wishing it happens, because <laughs> you oh, spent yeah. so much time. Yeah, and like money. This, you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. money, and you told people about it, you mm-hmm. thought about it, and all this stuff. You're like, so you start to be like, man, can this actually happen already? <laughs> like I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, I'm Which sure. Which is a terrible way to live. I'm right? sure they kind of want it to. Of course, of course they do. Of course, because they want to be like, I'm ready. I prep. And they do know? drills every day. They practice yeah. runs. Yeah. Mm. So. I remember seeing out. I think it's all about. It's good to be prepared <laughs> to an extent. Yeah. But you can't waste your life on it. I mean, or all your money. Or all your money, yeah. <laughs> because people do, you know. Yeah, some people do go over the top of the money on it. Yeah, you want to be prepared. You want to have a plan. But this is what I was saying, too. Like, let's say an apocalypse happens mm-hmm. and you have food for a year. Mm-hmm. Okay, sure, but after that year and if it's a true apocalypse, you're going to need a plan B. Like, you are going to run out of your water. That's you're going to run out of your food. That's a good point. So, yeah, it might last you, like, as long as it, you need it to, but the, you know, if stuff really hits the fan, you have to get your own stuff at some point. You do. I don't what think that's going to happen. I don't want to say that, but... You never know. Obviously, could the worst of the worst happen where everything that you see on these TVs, like the movie The Road, I don't know if you guys seen that movie, that was pretty sad. That was like, intense. I'm like, I don't want to live in that. Uh-uh. <laughs> I don't want that to happen. No. So, that, oh, that was sad. With The Walking Anyways. Dead? Oh, yeah, Walking Dead. <laughs> I'd be fine walking that though. Would you? I could survive that. Yes. Why? Because they're slow. They don't run. <laughs> and they can't be strong. After like a year or two, they're not strong. They're, they have no muscle mass. <laughs> so you think if it was real oh, yeah. life oh, yeah. that they muscle mass would deplete and they wouldn't be able to walk and you'd be fine? Exactly. Perfectly. You okay, but in <clears throat> the show, they're walking. Okay? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. In the mm-hmm. show, they're walking though, after years. After years mm-hmm. of apocalypse. Yep. Anyways, but... No, so my point is, it um, could happen. Well, what do you mean? <laughs> what if they're still walking after years? Well, I'm saying I'm not afraid to, to fight them. Oh, okay. So you're okay. One comes in the room and, uh, you know, I'm like, get out of here. <laughs> Just take something, <laughs> hit in his head, because his head's going to be soft. Take a spoon. And just whack There's the hordes head. of people, though. That's fine. I, look. I know. You wear, this is what you do. <laughs> you wear a leather outfit. <laughs> you wear leather? All leather. All over your body. That's what you do. Because then you can't get bitten. You can't bite through leather. You look like an S&M person. That's what you got to do. <laughs> you got to wear the suit. You have like the zipper, like, uh, lip Whatever thing. you got to do. <laughs> and a zipper. Because you don't even talk anyway. Yeah. Okay, so you just zip, zip it up. <laughs> leather everywhere. <laughs> And, he, and then you don't even need all oh, you need in. You would look kind of sexy, though. <laughs> yeah. It would. It'd be hot. It'd be hot. So that would be a problem. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? You might faint a couple times. <laughs> You'll get used to it. But at least you won't get eaten. <laughs> You'll get used to it. <laughs> exactly. So you do that. You should probably live somewhere where it doesn't get that hot. That's exactly right. Just in case the zombie pocket happens. 
<laughs> but I think about that because I've always like you know you always see people like in zombie apocalypse wearing shorts uh-huh. and short sleeve shirts. It's like what are you doing? Mm-hmm. That just makes it easy. I know. But you get a zombie that's like has been been dead for like three years. Uh huh. Hobbling, barely skinny, completely depleted. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have any bone, you know, muscle in its jaws to uh-huh. to really bite through, you know, skin. So if you got leather, you're good. Uh-huh. You're good. Yeah. You don't have no problem. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. You need something. Exactly. But. Because it is know. interesting to me, too, that mm-hmm. I feel like they bite over the clothes a lot. They do. And that doesn't happen, right? Like, no. human teeth. Like, can you bite through a pair of jeans? No. You I should try. Want to. Wear a pair of jeans. I'll try. Especially if they're like thick jeans, you know? Yeah. Let's do it. Put you some on. You definitely want to do that. <laughs> you want to try I'll it. go for it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think I could pierce the skin. I mean, I could if I like, maybe. The, the problem would be piercing the jean. That's what I'm saying. So mm-hmm. piercing the jean, let alone the skin. You could bite someone. Mm-hmm. Mm. Try like, yeah, like I could bite you over. Bite I could make, give you a bite mark. But could you cause holes in the shirt? No. Yeah. I don't think. I mean, that would be. You would lose teeth. That's a good point. That's what I'm saying. So You'd I feel like these shows teeth. are unrealistic <laughs> because they'll bite them. Okay, yeah, they bite them on the neck. Got it. Yeah, the wear, neck, the wear hand, a scarf. The arm. Yeah. <laughs> we would be so dressed That's what up. I'm saying. We'd be fine. Yes. <laughs> Leather. You'd That's have to sleep like that, though, probably, too. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever you look, whatever you gotta do, <laughs> it's survival. How do you pee? You have to take it off to pee every time. Yeah, just go. <laughs> it's not like you're like, trying to impress anybody. <laughs> so you have to, you have to, I mean, you take it off, you're taking a risk. So, and you're taking a risk to get it back on too, because it's hard to get back on when you're sweating. Oh my sweating. god, <laughs> that's so bad. Like a like a wetsuit. Mm-hmm. Just pee in it. Just stay warm. Exactly. <laughs> so gross. Mm-hmm. Sorry, guys. That's funny, though. I'm glad you have so, a plan, though. Yeah, that's it. No, I know. We wouldn't need leather. No, I mean, obviously, I'm joking. But. Uh, yeah, halfway. <laughs> halfway. <laughs> but anyways. um, But yeah, I think, I think you can prep for it. Mm-hmm. In the sense where mm-hmm. maybe... You know what you saw? Something your sister said that was such a great idea mm. is, you know, we should have a spot where we all meet, mm-hmm. where if all communication goes down, mm-hmm. it's a spot that we meet. That's such a, a genius idea. It is. I feel it's very good because, you know, we're so, I feel like our society, not our society, but things are so fragile in the mm-hmm. sense that if our phones die, you can't Google, you can't Facebook, you can't call, you can't mm-hmm. do anything. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're kind of screwed in that sense where Mm -hmm. all you can do, you know, what do you do if you can't get reach to people? Yeah, you should have a place to meet in your state. And then if your state's messed up, you have a place to meet in the country. Sure. Yeah. If the country's messed up, you have a place to meet (laughs) outside the country. Outside the country. If the country's messed up, <laughs> meet on this planet. <laughs> Somewhere. I don't know. No, you can't do anything. Can't yeah, do anything. Like I, mean, you, I don't know. But here's the thing. If it's so bad mm-hmm. that you can't even meet in another country, it's like, well then, just survive. <laughs> it's over. Just survive somehow. <laughs> do what you gotta do, yeah. That was my little mm-hmm. wink again for our people who watch The Walking Dead. Um, <laughs> Get it? No. Just survive somehow. Is that their slogan? Uh, Enid. What? Did she say that? Yes. I don't remember Just that. J-S-S. I can't with you. I literally can't. What? E- Enid. Yes. Yes. When she was with her parents. I don't... Back was that a her, long That was her backstory. Ago? Wasn't that I don't even long? know her backstory. Oh my god! Okay. Kristen does that. If you watch The Walking Dead, stories, you know. Blood. Just survive somehow. Oh, but that was like season like two. No, <laughs> it was like was season like, like seven. No, it wasn't. Enid she showed up like in season. She showed up in season like five. Uh, no. she was like in season five. I don't think five. it was that long. Yes, it was no. that long ago. Okay, you're welcome. It was that long ago. I do remember that. <laughs> kind of, kind of. But I mean, it's like it's not like I'm like thinking about that. You know what I mean? Come on. Right? You know how many YouTube videos I watch? How many new movies we see? <laughs> I can't remember you remembering something from seasons ago. 
<laughs> if you guys are Walking Dead fans, let us know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We stopped watching it for a long, not a long time. Yeah, but for quite a while. We stopped watching it for like a, a year, and we just mm-hmm. caught, I don't think we caught up, we caught up to season. No, we caught up completely. Oh, no, we didn't. No, no we didn't. we're at season 10. We haven't watched season, no. Mm-hmm. We haven't yeah. watched season 10. We haven't watched season 10 yet, but, but we watched all three season nine. Here's a question. we in a zombie apocalypse. Yeah. What, let's say what, if you could have three things Apocalypse happens, zombie apocalypse is specific. You can have three things. What are those three things that you would have? Mm. Right? Isn't that a good question? That is a good question. Leave it in the comments. Write it in the comments because I'm curious. Yeah. I think for me, um, I mean, I wouldn't. a gun would be handy, of course, if like somebody tries to attack you. Not a zombie, but like a person. Mm-hmm. But then you got to reload that gun. I was going to say, you need ammo. You need ammo. And then, yeah. It comes together. Well... And let's say you just completely lose the ammo, then the gun is completely useless. Mm-hmm. So maybe a weapon? No. Well, a leather suit. We've established that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> have that. Have we established that? <laughs> okay, so you'll take the leather suit. Are you going to have a Whole weapon or not? Yeah, of course. What kind? I think... <clears throat> Excuse me. Not a sword. A sword gets dull. But you can sharpen it. How the rocks? <laughs> yes. I mean, you can, but okay. I don't so know. you don't want a sword. I think I would do like a a metal bat, like a metal bat. But see, that'll get broken. That can, oh man, there's so many problems with that. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Wait. <laughs> it's coming to me. It's coming to you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would do an axe. Okay, that's heavy, but okay. A small one, like. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, uh, you know. Okay. You gotta sharpen that too. Yeah, but you do. I think that's easy to sharpen, though. Yeah, and the sword right. would be better. I mean, there isn't a perfect weapon. <laughs> there that's is the problem. A... There really isn't a perfect uh-uh. weapon Mm-mm. where you're like, all situations, this works. In The Walking Dead, there's a girl who does a slingshot. <laughs> She's like dead on every time, killing hella zombies with it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, but if it's the slingshot, still, you gotta look for a rock. Now I can always find a bullets. rock. You can find a penny. Could you he kill someone him. with a penny? Yeah. Or with a slingshot? Him in the eye? <laughs> yeah. You need, like, good aim, I'll tell you though. What, they'll think twice about attacking you. That's it. <laughs> for sure they will. Yeah, Daryl in The Walking Dead has, um... Mm-hmm. What do you call it? Arrow? Oh, the... Bow, oh, the crossbow? Um, crossbow, which is pretty good. There's a crossbow, but... You gotta retrieve that bow. You have to retrieve the bow. Yeah. And they never show him retrieving it that much. Mm -hmm. So that's Um, a little weird. And here's the thing Mm -hmm. making a crossbow Uh is hard. Or not crossbow, but making the arrow Mm -hmm. for a crossbow is hard. Oh, does he make the arrow? Mm mm. Oh. But. Oh, I see if you run out or something. Yeah. Which, by the way, that's a good point. Has he had it since the beginning? Yes. Is that like the lie. green arrows? I know, it's a lie. It's a lie. <laughs> Something would at least broke. And I think someone I mean, stole his crossbow heads. once and he got it back. It's just like <laughs> Perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> Perfectly intact, no problems. I think I would do... Mm-hmm. I want a gun. I want a gun with, mm-hmm. with unlimited ammo. Mm-hmm. So those are two things. And machine gun. Mm-hmm. I'm not playing around. I'm not doing a. I'm not doing a revolver. Okay, we're not, not revolving. No, we're not doing a six, six shooter. shooter. No, no, we're not playing around here. We're not gonna be Rick. No, no, no. we're talking automatic. Hella magazines. Um. No. Anyways, yeah, Rick. Right. Okay. So yeah. So some type of gun and ammo, and then my third item. Mm. I mean, I, obviously food and water will have to get. So I'm going to go with, um, yeah, I'll do a leather suit with you. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. Uh-huh. I would do a leather suit with you. Mm-hmm. I mean, it makes sense. But right? we could never sleep. But see, here's the thing. We mm-hmm. sleep in different shifts, shifts uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. And here's the thing, too. If you go to sleep and you got a leather suit on, uh-huh. 
And maybe the zombies show up, but yeah. that's okay. You got protection. Yeah, you're good over your head At too. Least exactly. You need a helmet one. Yes, with the with the zipper. Exactly, and it's gonna be annoying. Yeah, these things are gonna be biting on you, trying to get through. But you'll honestly, be fine. it's true. <laughs> so maybe we could go to sleep then. Exactly. <laughs> That'd be the most uncomfortable thing. It'd be so. Hot. I would need to make like a, a crotch thing so I yeah. could like go to the bathroom. You'd be so hot. It'd be insane. <laughs> it would be. I mean, it would be. Literally, <laughs> it'd be like literally sleeping in a heater. Oh, it'd be, it'd be terrible. It'd be, be terrible. sweating. <laughs> so, well, maybe they have like a. Mm-hmm. Okay, maybe they have another type of material that <laughs> is more breathable but not penetrable. I'm sure they got something with teeth. Ooh, you, you know, know what, what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I don't want an exoskeleton suit. Oh God. Along with that, let's calm down. I'm serious. They don't even. Do they have that? Somebody does. <laughs> hey, listen. It's not my just You're my like imagination. A... <laughs> it's a real thing. It's a. You're real like going thing. like RoboCop. Exactly. Hey, you gotta do. What you gotta I wanna. Do. I wanna channel RoboCop and get an exoskeleton. <laughs> you might need. What it. is that, by the way? Exoskeleton. Just it's to put just, like a suit over. Yeah, you. it's just pretty much. Uh-huh. It's it's a looks like a robotic suit, but it's like the exo part of it. <laughs> not a full what about thing. like nanotechnology and having a shield a force field around yeah. our, our bodies is that what you're gonna <laughs> yeah, go there with you go. exactly <laughs> <laughs> alright here's the question too I gotta go <laughs> yes okay. I'm sorry oh, for coughing you guys good one. yeah are you okay by the way yeah I just have yeah, phlegm okay. yeah you got phlegm yeah oh good thanks babe yeah no problem um, okay here we go here's a good one okay zombie apocalypse and you have no weapons uh huh no food, okay. nothing. You run into one mm-hmm. action hero, mm-hmm. and that person is the person that you are gonna have to survive with. What action hero for what movie mm. would you do? Would, you, would you choose? Oh, that's a good right? question. I think that's a good one. Okay, not Arnold. Schwarzenegger, because <laughs> he doesn't, because he can't beat anybody up. Are you kidding me? I guess he can. I mean, he almost beat a predator. He killed a predator. Okay, he's strong. <laughs> yeah. He is strong. Maybe yeah. I would then. I was thinking like somebody more karate based or like yeah. martial artsy <laughs> who could like kick some ass. You need John Wick. Oh, John Wick, does he count? Yeah. Oh, you, you John need, Wick. You need someone that can take a bullet, like five of them, and keep fighting. John Wick. <laughs> if he counts, yeah. thank you for making me think right? of that. Oh, yeah. He's the one. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> he never misses on a shot. That's true. That's true. <laughs> he makes weapons out of anything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He doesn't die. At all. He doesn't run out of energy. And, and apparently, getting shot, he gets better. <laughs> that's what it seems like and he's cute uh, yeah he's cute <laughs> okay, okay I would think, you pick John Wick too well that would have been my one that's oh I'm sorry but if I had picked someone okay. else yeah let's see who do we got we got like Sylvester Stallone mm-hmm. Jean-Claude Van Damme mm-hmm. we got Jason Bourne oh god you're but you're, you need okay. you need someone that can remember their life history <laughs> So they could have a conversation with you and be not be boring during the downtimes. What's so, that other guy's name who's uh, like Jean Claude Van Damme? Who? Who's the guy that's like Jean Claude Van Damme? You say Jean Claude? Is it Jean? It's Jean. Okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever. What's who's the guy who's like Jean? I have no idea. Come on, he has black hair. It's like kind of long. He does like martial arts also. I'm struggling. Stop. What movie? I don't know. He was on a train once. Oh, so, so Steven Seagal? Yes, Steven Seagal. That, he's nothing like Van Damme. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. You wouldn't pick Steven? Um, Seagal? He's good. He just feels like, he sounds like he talked too much. <laughs> and, and, un, and not interesting uh, stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't. So I'd be like, no. Yeah. No. John Wick's the perfect one. John Wick is the perfect guy. Ooh, but what about um, what about Liam Neeson from Taken? I feel if like I got kidnapped. <laughs> exactly. I would want him I to find me. <laughs> Other than that, right. though, I don't know. You know. I boring. feel like if I was like his his child, you know, his son, and like he got kid, I got kidnapped. Yeah. I wouldn't even be scared. I wouldn't even be scared. <laughs> 
as soon as they kidnap me, I'll be like, oh, all right, you guys, what do you need? Yeah. <laughs> be like, I wouldn't like, do this if I were you. $50 million dollars for you. I'm like, yeah, you're not getting that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what you wouldn't will be scared get. at all. That's so yeah, funny. I know, so. yeah. He, uh, and he knows every language. Yeah. Nor seems like he does, you know? Yeah. So any so, country they take you to? Yeah. But John Wick for sure, because he can yeah. take major butt. Zombie apocalypse, you want John Wick. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, I feel, I feel like if anyone could survive a zombie bite, it'd be him. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Anybody. For know? sure, because he would just like cut off something. Exactly. And like keep it moving. Exactly. You know? All right, what action here would you guys use? Yes. I'm curious. Let me know. That's a good, these were good questions. That's pretty good, right? You did a good yes. job. Thank you. No, I liked it. That's how I did Oh, dessert? Oh, yeah, we got dessert, you, you guys. Dessert? All right, one second. Are you full? Are you done? I am. Okay, but me too. I want to show dessert first. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> we killed it with the pizza. Oh, this is done. What's done? The frozen. Are they frozen? Well, I guess they're eatable. We still eat them. Well, they were like melted, so we like had to refreeze mm -hmm. them. Eatable? They're eatable. Edible? Did I say that? Yes. <laughs> well. Oh, they're fine. But, but no, couldn't you say eatable? Because edible means like... Anyways, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it right there, guys. Yeah, baby. All right. <laughs> it's vanilla yogurt. They put the strawberry topping on top. And it is amazing. If you guys go to Costco, if you ever do like a Costco mukbang or anything like that, oh. get this. <coughs> it's so good. It's amazing. Mm. Oh, yeah. But it's cold. You have to have a little bite. You don't understand. I had a whole strawberry. Oh. Mm. Rookie. Rookie no move. <laughs> Very mm. much. It's so good. Mm. <laughs> okay. Oh, Listen, cold. I can't be with you in the apocalypse if you're gonna make moves <laughs> like this. Okay, if we gotta make decisions like oh, this, way too cold. I can't do it. <laughs> okay, I need John Wick. I have no choice. I need John Wick. He would be perfect. I feel like he would just know like everything. Who would? You know what I mean? He uh, would know everything. He just knows how to get out of situations. He'd probably make any weapon. Yeah. He knows how to clean guns. And here's the thing: load them. You don't need an army. Like in The Walking Dead, you mm. need an army of people mm -hmm. to take on other people. Not with John Wick. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'll just be behind him. <laughs> exactly. Just be behind him I'll the whole time. Just be behind him. That'd be good. The whole time, and you're good. I don't even need to be behind him. Mm hmm. <clears throat> yeah. That's true. Start, you know, all you see like 50, 60 people come out of nowhere trying to attack you, and they all got shotguns. I'd be like, not good enough, guys. I'd be like, maybe next time. <laughs> 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 We'd be way too confident. <laughs> Man, not good enough. <laughs> We'd be yeah. the most cockiest people in the apocalypse Seriously. if we had John Wick. We'd be like, sucks to be you. Yep. I'd be like, just you wait. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely don't kill his dog. <laughs> don't kill his dog. Kill dog. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> not first, at least. <laughs> you go after him, you kill. Oh, it's over. <laughs> it's over. Oh, it's over. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah the strawberries are super hard. Told you. Uh, rookie, okay. I didn't buy it. Yeah. Rookie, okay. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. Well, mm hmm. On my tongue. Mm, Crazy. It's good though. That is good. All right. Well, I don't know if we're gonna finish this whole thing. Yeah, we can eat it off camera. Mm -hmm. It will take a while. Yeah. Okay. Well. I'm pretty full. So, what three things would you bring with you in an apocalypse? Yes. And what one action hero would you want? to be with mm -hmm. in the apocalypse by your side. Exactly. As a sidekick. Yeah. Hit in the comments section below. Exactly. Please do. And I'm just, is there anyone else? That you'd pick? Uh, no, any other, I can't think of any action stars. Um, does, what does, um, no, what's, or it doesn't matter. <clears throat> it could just be an action hero in a movie, one-off movie. It doesn't have to be Is it Glock Lesnar? Glock Lesnar? Or Brock Lesnar? <laughs> like, who's... Like, what? Mixing a gun? <laughs> no, that's our friend's Instagram name. Oh, that's true. Sure that's where I got that. <laughs> so it's Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. Okay, yes. he's an action hero. <laughs> well, kind of. Yeah. Kind of. But anyways, The Rock maybe? Maybe this one. Oh, The Rock. He's good. Mm -hmm. Maybe. All right, you guys. Oh, uh -huh. Jason Momoa. Oh, okay. But, Okay. I know you like them. That's fine. And, <laughs> but what I'm saying is, it's got to be somebody that's like an action, like, like they. That's what they do is they save people. Jason saves people. 
Or maybe that saves people, they're just an action star. Oh, okay. Is it Jason's the mermaid? The the man the, he's not a mermaid. He's a merman. He's okay, listen. What is he? <laughs> Not a mermaid. Okay, he's a superhero. <laughs> he is a superhero. Aquaman. There you go. Aquaman, yes. He's a merman. A merman. No, is he no. not a merman? No, of course not. A merman has a tail. Well, he's almost a merman. He's, tech, he's a, um, I, I don't know, Atlantean. He's an Atlantean. Okay? There's Were the there difference. mermans in the movie? Um. Brother Royal? I don't think so. Oh. Okay. All right, you guys. We're out of here, but thank you so much for watching. We yes. definitely appreciate you guys spending time to eat with us. Hope you enjoyed this Costco mukbang pepperoni mm -hmm. pizza. That's delicious. Let us know what you think. Drop a comment below. Mm -hmm. And uh, don't forget to tell people about the K&J fam. So uh, in order to do that, one way you could do it is through sharing. Please, please, please share this video. Share this video. Like the video right below as well. Uh, don't forget to comment, of course, and subscribe. Uh, the more we can grow, the better food we'll get. We're trying so to hit a thousand subs, you guys. That is our goal. We're shooting for a thousand and at least maybe about a month and a half. I think that would be nice for Let's us. Let's hope, yeah. I think that's a good goal. Mm -hmm. we'll right, about 40 back. something days, 45 days, something like that. So. Woo! So if you guys could help us get there, we would be very, very grateful. Yes. So, okay, we love you guys. Love and we'll you so see you much. next time. See Thanks you next for time. watching. Peace. Mm -hmm.